So in this video now we will try to understand how to delete any specific row uh, you, in SQL Server using Python. So first thing now I will try to delete this row to where we have first name equals to A. So now I can re-execute this query. Okay. So we have six records. So now I will move back to Python Jupyter Notebook. So now I will re-execute this one. Okay. So I did. Okay. My bad. I need to correct the TV name. Or leave it. I will tell you how to use that. If I corrected with different DB, so now I need to choose that. Cursor dot execute, and then we need to use like this. Use Python, 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 SQL. Okay. So let me see. Yeah. So Python SQL. And now after this, I need to provide that table values delete a statement. So now I will go ahead and provide delete from employee. Okay. Where the first underscore name goes to a okay and as we know after this we need to put that now execute this one execute this sql so let me execute this one so now we are getting that Cursor object have no attribute. Execute. Okay, my bad. Okay, so now this got deleted. So now again, how we can see that it's uh, deleted correctly or not? So what I can do? I will go ahead and put her select a statement. Okay. Select a star from this. Okay, and now after this, we need to put for i in versus in i. Okay. So now we can see that the name first name started with a is got deleted. So in this way, we can remove that. First thing, whatever we wanted to delete if any specific row. And second thing also, we learned that if I connected with wrong DB, okay. And then if I'm, I wanted to execute this one, then how it's going to work. So suppose if I go ahead and try to see if I executed this one. Now, if I try to execute this one, you can see we will get that invalid object name. That's why I need to use this use python and then if i try to execute then it will now taking some time because this first name is not exist with the name of a so again it will give that some values so let us see what it's going to show us okay so in this way we can go ahead and do that all those delete operation so now I still is taking time. I'm not sure. But if I go ahead and execute the same thing in SQL Server, and one more thing I am missing. Okay, so since we using this server, so till now will not close that connection. It's not going to work so that we know. So now we can stop this. There is no other way. So I interrupted that. So now it's not going to work. But if we go and try to see it here. Okay. And I need to close this just a minute. 
so I will go and restart corner. Okay, so now I'll try to connect. It's connected. This one I did. And now when I will go and try to do that, it's a still we can see A is there. Okay. And region band, I will tell you why. So now I will go and try to execute this one. So it's executed. Now we can go ahead and see it's here. But if I go and put that simply con dot close. Okay. And if I execute this, and if I come to SQL Server, and if, if we try to execute, still we are able to see that A is there, right? So if you remember correctly, last time we discussed already these things that now I will re-execute this connected using, I will delete, and I can see now here it's removed, but on dot permit we need to do and if I go ahead, do that commit and then close that connection. And after this, if I go and try to execute this one, we can see now A is got deleted. So every time if we're doing any DB changes, database changes, either we try to update, insert or delete, we need to do always that commit, how we did just now. So we need to put that commit word and then we can see that it's get reflected in our SQL server. Thank you.